the view. This is today the Hard Rock Hotel, but it was originally the headquarters for the Carbide and Carbon Company. They made dry cell batteries, and the dry, dark color of the building is a tribute to that, designed by the sons of Daniel Burnham. And the top of the building is supposed to remind you of the top of a champagne bottle. And then talking about icons of the skyline, over on your left, we're passing those two round towers I mentioned very briefly early. They're celebrating their 50th birthday. They were opened in 1962 and 1963. It's Marina City, designed by Bertrand Goldberg, the same man who designed River City, where we turned around on the South Branch. We have a marina at the base, restaurants, retail at street level, the parking garage, and then the one, two, and three bedroom units. Now, I grew up on a farm. And when I first came to Chicago and see the, saw these two buildings, I thought of corn cobs standing on end. You know, we had a, grew a lot of corn on the farm. Bertram Goldberg probably wasn't too happy with that idea. He said they were supposed to be trees. The core of the building where the elevator is, it's the trunk. The apartments are the branches and the leaves are these rounded balconies. Again, you remember, he studied with Mies van der Rohe, and in a very nice touch, Mies's last building is right next door. This dark metal glass building I pointed out earlier is 330 North Wabash, completed in 1971, only two years after Mies died. For you guys who are from Canada, if you're familiar with a very similar looking building in Toronto, the Dominion Bank building, it's really almost a twin to this building, also designed by Mies. The Langham Hotel just opened in the bottom of that building. And that brings us back to the Trump International Hotel and Tower, the city's tall, the second tallest building at 92 stories. The base of the building is a parking garage. Above that is the hotel. And then where the building sits back are the condominium units. If you look all the way to the top, just below that top silvery band grill up there, is the 89th floor. And the 89th floor is the penthouse. It occupies the entire 89th floor. It is over 14,000 square feet, about the size of three large houses. I've been up there twice looking around. The ceilings are 16 feet high. You have a 360 degree panorama. It's set up for seven bedrooms. It's a fabulous space. And the good news, it can be yours. Anybody interested in the price? Uh, but Donald wants, he says, $32 million, but he will entertain any serious offer and will subdivide the 14,000 feet if you don't want the entire floor. So think about it. It's a great place here in downtown Chicago.